Hello everyone and uh, welcome to another review. Today I'm going to show you a product uh, made for the e camera, the E2 uh, camera or 4K camera. Uh, this is a replacement waterproof case. Uh, it's not made by Xiaomi, it's made by this uh, company here. You can get more uh, details about this product by following the link in the video description. Uh, what I want to show you about this case, because this is not a regular case, it's uh, the rear panel, as you can see, it's a membrane, and uh, this is actually a waterproof cover that uh, still uh, makes the camera work supposedly underwater, a thing that I'm going to try to test, so the camera will go in, but first I need to remove uh, all this uh, type of uh, protection films so it has this green stuff here and this stuff here so those are now off I'm going to remove that the camera goes in nicely and this will go like that and now close the clasp and it's secured and with this membrane I can try to use the camera so I'm going to power it on and yes this works just fine you just need to press a bit more hard when you are on the corners and also on the middle of the screen uh, it just feels like deforming a bit I don't know if you can see that on the camera but my finger is pressing it and it deforms a bit and touches the screen and it's working uh, I wonder what the maximum depth of uh, this will uh, be so if you can use it at a few meters underwater or it's just a simple waterproof protection that is to be seen uh, soon when I'm going to go to uh, some snorkeling fun but until then I'm just going to try this in a regular bucket of water just to see if uh, it works or not so let's just try that so here is the big test we have water here and the camera is still inside uh, a word of caution uh, when uh, buying a waterproof case before using the camera underwater you should always test the case first it's very easy to do that put some uh, uh, tissues inside and uh, no camera just put tissues uh, close it secure it and uh, put it in a bucket of water overnight put a weight on it to keep it at the bottom and uh, next thing in the morning check if the tissue is wet or humid inside uh, that means it has a leak you should never use it directly out of the box a thing that I'm going to do right now so if water will go in and kill my camera you will see that and know that it has happened so let's see the camera is underwater and I'm going to unlock the screen I have unlocked the screen go to the settings it's working fine I'm going to change the resolution I'm going to use 60 frames per second in a 2.7k resolution now I'm going to switch to 4k it's still working fine I can go back let's change modes so it's photo mode video mode by sliding also I can click here to hide bring the down menu it's here I can go up down it's a bit harder to use it as you need to uh, press that uh, plastic deform it and then just continue to slide in the direction you want to but it's definitely usable underwater you can use all the settings which is very nice I can also turn off the camera because sometimes when you are snorkeling or diving 
you do want to change some of the settings maybe you forgot to enable or disable some of the features or you want to change the resolution maybe you want to do a slow motion and uh, the e-camera does have the underwater mode where you just use one button to operate it you can start stop recording and so on but you cannot change the settings and with this uh, waterproof uh, casing now you can which is very nice and I can't wait to test this in uh, real conditions until then bye bye